Hello everybody. I've got a video here I have got to share and it is by a channel I never heard of. The Officer Tatum. This man is wise and I'm going to only play three minutes out of a 16 minute 24 second video. But I will bet you, well I don't bet. <laughs> if I was a betting person I would bet. Most of you would want to hear the rest of it. I would hope that you would. Okay, so I'm going to cover it up so you'll just listen. All right, here we go. This anti-police, anti-white rhetoric needs to come to an end. I have had enough. I've had enough. I made a video earlier about my son getting a notification on his EA Sports Madden game talking about Black Lives Matter and oppression of black people which is an opinion by some it's not verifiable unequivocal facts but yet they push it on young people and then one of my good friends who happened to be white and the funny thing is we have the same last name we go on rides together and he showed me on the app the Strava app that you just upload your rides to. Everybody have a good time. You like people's stuff. If you see their rides, their impressive pro riders are on there. Everybody's having a good time. Why on God's green earth do they feel they need to give an advisory about how they've been a racist organization all this time? And that black people need to uh, uh, special treatment. And you need to give us handouts and worry about black athletes. Listen, man, as a black man in America, and I've been black for 33 years, I am sick of the pandering. I'm sick of the false equivalence. I'm sick of people painting the picture like I am less than in my own country. This country belongs to me just like anybody else. I have never experienced racism in America. I haven't. That doesn't mean that other people haven't. But I don't have to walk around with my head down, walking around acting like a victim when I haven't had nothing to do with that. And none of the people that I know are racist. I don't know a racist. I've never been around racist. Why do I have to be subject to an uh, idea that people are forcing on me just because of the color of my skin? It makes no sense to me. And then I have a lot of friends who are white. It's not fair that I can have a say and I can talk about my opinions about the American flag. I can give my, my statements about Black Lives Matter and how ridiculous I believe their organization is. This is America. You have the freedom of speech. You can say whatever you want to say. Why is it that my white friends don't have that same right? If you say all lives matter, which is true, that includes black lives, ladies and gentlemen, you get fired. They fired a guy who was a, who was a commentator, fired him because he said all lives matter in a text message. This is, you are not going to accomplish the goal that you want. If you are doing it with hatred and vitriol, if you are doing it with the idea that you're going to force people to kneel and bow down to you for sins of their ancestors. I don't understand how we've gotten to this point in the United States of America. How okay, I'll stop it right there. But I tell you, he goes into uh, towards the end of this. He actually goes into um, the slavery issue. And how at the time that happened, and that, I'm not saying I'm for slavery, okay, but even Jesus talked about, or maybe it was Paul, if you're a slave master, treat your slaves kindly. If you're a slave, you work for your master as though you're working for me. We're all supposed to work for our bosses, our masters on earth, as if we were doing it unto the Lord. Okay, well, he goes into how the richer black people in Africa sold their own people. They had a slave trade down there in Africa, way back in the you know, 1500s, 1400s, I don't know when it started. But they sold slaves to uh, this country, South America, Central America, other 
countries. And I don't know how the black-white issue is there, but did you know that a black man was the very first slave owner? I didn't know that. And maybe that's where the story Uncle Tom came from. I never read it, but I know it was banned. I know that. Anyway, I didn't mean to get off into that, but he goes into that at the end. Trying to help people understand that we're all one. He talked about how the Asians uh, come over here and their mindset is not on what are they thinking about me. Uh, there is on building a career making money for their future clearly it's not a gospel message all right it's just supposed to help everybody get their mind set on that we're all one we are all god's children now he doesn't put it that way but we are it doesn't matter what color you are you're god's child if you're not a nephilim okay <laughs> a child of the devil or sold out to Satan to the point where you can't even. I mean you. There have been satanic high priests and priestesses that have. Somehow God pulled them out. So they could tell us things that our Bible does not tell. Like about pleading the blood of Jesus. People have asked me. Why do you plead the blood of Jesus? I mean he shed it. We claim it. We believe it. Why do you do that? And, and I try to explain to them because we learned from those who came out of the occult that that works. <laughs> and um, the Lord has preserved some of those people and pulled them out and they've paid for it. I mean... They have been attacked and attacked and attacked. At least I know of one witch that was a very high witch. Said she was a bride of Satan. He took a human form. He could have up to five brides at a time. Five wives. Anyway, that was, that was some awesome book. But she kept getting attacked. She stayed so sick. Because they would not leave her alone. She'd get over one thing, she'd get another. Because she came out of a covenant with Satan. Anyway, that's not <laughs> that's not in this video. I've just got into that because uh, I don't even remember why. But it doesn't matter. This is an excellent video. Only 16 minutes, 24 seconds. And maybe it'll help everybody get a grip on what's going on and he even mentioned how one um commentator i guess it must have been a news news commentator texted all lives matter which includes black lives he says he got fired now i just think that's plain wrong and maybe it's because of where the country is right now they felt it was improper but this that's what this man is saying all lives matter and he's sick and tired of seeing george floyd being buried uh he he said he got all these accolades and pomp and circumstance and well he didn't use that term that's my term but uh that's what he's gotten and, and he's not a king, he's not a president, he's nobody big. Anyway, he's, that's not the, he says that, but in his own words. I'm going to end it here. I hope that you'll watch it, because I hope that you'll share it. And maybe, if this video could possibly go viral, a lot of this would stop. Now, the paid people from George Soros, I don't know about that. If that's still going on, I don't even know. But if it is, it is. If it's not, it's not. You know, I pray 
for all of you. And all I can say is if it's going on in your city, you keep praying Psalm 91 because that is our promises from God. Like one verse says, Though a thousand may fall at my side and ten thousand at my right hand, it will not come on me, for I will only look on with my eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. If you're a godly person, you love the Lord with all your heart, you serve Him, you trust Him with your life, He will protect you. Okay? All right. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, the internet connection, and over each, let see, myself and my computer, and over each and every one of you and your devices and all of your internet connections. So we can stay connected. Uh, I hope. <laughs> okay, with that I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.